Hey up peeps, welcome back to Old Yorkshire Git Tries, Final Fantasy 14, part 297, quite written down. Right, uh, I hope something better happens this episode. <laughs> uh, speak with her, peas. Right, oh, what's he got? Is it an at? Please be an at. Oh fuck you, a new pair of bloody boots. I need an at. <laughs> Get rid of that stupid thing he's wearing. Tell me, Albert, in the course of watching me, have you learned aught of value? Nothing so far, more for that will change. Dynamis. Dynamis seems promising. Dynamis seems promising. Yeah. Dynam is curious that such an obscure phenomenon should be of interest to you. A seasoned observer. Chief Herpes, what good fortune to find you here. Is something the matter? The like here, and I'm afraid it's done it again. No sooner did we release one for observation, it's set up on the nearby occupy <laughs> slaughtering them. Was it hungry or somehow provoked? I just fed them myself and the occupied peats, whoever they are, were keeping a wide berth. It is the nature of the Lycaon that is to blame their innate viciousness. Temperament aside, it's an outstanding creation, perfect in form and function. It may not be suited for release. I've no doubt that the Bureau will accept its concept for preservation. In any case, there's no point in postponing the inevitable. Doros will revert them all once the paperwork is in order. Where is the scene of the incident? Over here. Just off the path to the Twelve Wonders. As you make your way, you should see it on the left. I don't know if Doros is still there, however. Herpes, wait. this is part of his work then I would observe we follow <laughs> quest accepted right I guess we're going that way that way let's have a look on the big map I think The old dragon. Oh, we got one nearby. To the northeast. Not going northeast. Do 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 do. Guess there's going to be a lot more boring stuff because this is a big place. Not on the big map. The places we've got to visit yet. Oh well. I suppose. Is that I'm down here? Ah. My, uh, the lacerations and burns were unmistakable. A Lycian was indeed responsible. Creature is nowhere to be seen. Doris must have taken it away. The man makes his base at the Twelve Wonders. Shall go and seek him out there. Emmett and I will search the area for good measure just to make sure the Lycan did not escape. My thanks. Let us meet at the Twelve Wonders when you're finished. I'll go on ahead. Please follow with Albert. It's down this path and over the bridge. Speak with me, John, and have her accompany you. Mm. 
How are we all doing on this Thursday morning? We alright? Not a bad day. Bit chilly, but sun's out. Bit late started today because we been out and done the big shop. Our dub starts work again tomorrow. she appears there it is 12 wonders Hermes is looking for Doris let's look for Doris too a man with long blonde hair I think I'll know him when I see him yeah whatever uh, long blonde hair Dark-haired man. Well, why are we going to speak with him? His hair's too long. Might as well attune to it while we're here. Dead man. Doris, that's Doris. Well, now if it's not Meteon, what brings you here? I thought I heard familiar voices. Here he is, here, peas. I didn't realise you two had decided to help me search for Doris. Thank you. You're in charge of the, like, like, yeah, them. I believe we, where are they now? Out in the fields in restraints, frenzies as they were, I couldn't well return them to Kitsis. Once I've submitted my reports, I'll see them reverted without delay. It's as he says, the beasts are indeed quite ferocious. You're one of the fourteen. What brings you here? Nothing you need concern yourself with, as you were. We've heard the news that a Lycan slaughtered occupants. As the observer in charge, you are the uh, you are of the opinion that they are not fit to be released. I am. Their abnormal regression and exceptional strength makes for a highly problematic combination. It matters not where they are released. Lycaons would threaten other species and upset the natural order. Could it be that the specimens observed are an outlier? Highly unlikely, we've created a good many of them, all exhibited the same tendencies. Even when we use Kairos to begin with a fresh slate, their behaviour was unchanged. Kairos? A memory con reconfiguration system, the chief himself created it. It allows us to erase or alter memories that we may observe creations in different environmental conditions without needing to remake them from scratch. Quite impressive and potentially dangerous depending on the intensity of the etheric emissions. Pash Taro may wish to have words with you. Rest assured I've kept all values within prescribed limits and to prevent misuse its applications are limited to those authorised by the Chief Overseer. Do not misunderstand, to manipulate a subject's memories is an intrusive act. I deeply abhor, but it is still preferable to execution. Come now Chief, let's not, be, let's not be some melodramatic. What was born of ether is simply being reduced to its original state. 
you know, take a drink. I know the distinctions concern you, but we mustn't lose sight of the bigger picture, making rational choices for the sake of a more prosperous star. There, waffle, waffle, waffle. Yeah, waffle, waffle, waffle. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Let me provide you with a full report. Will it be possible for us to attend the discussion? By all means. Each year. Pray show them to the meeting room. <sighs> Let Albert go and kill him for you. Give him something to do. Ah, oh, poor Meteon. Speak with Meteon. To man, other beings are just things to be used and controlled like magic. That's what Erpes told me once. Right. Inventory. Yeah, armory chest. Plus ten. But we'll have them then. Retrieve the materia. Right. Speak with their peas. Got a new app for me here, please. <laughs> please. Just the gloves and the hat, then. I fear this discussion may take a while during which time. Material, are you feeling unwell? It's not me, Hermes, it's you. I won't go to the meeting, I'll stay with Albert. Loath I am to impose, may I have Meteon in your care again? Well, I'm sure Albert don't mind. I'm in your debt if you'll excuse me. Oh, she had a brew. Getting a bit thirsty. Right, me, you know what we up to? Can you help me with something, Albert? Depends where it is, love. Meeting will make Herpes sad. I want to cheer him up with a flower. Hermes like flowers most of all. Most creations are expected to be interesting or beautiful or better. Flowers are different, yeah, whatever. Meteor is now going to accompany me. Examine the flowers at the Twelve Wonders. Right, there's some over here. A tree in bloom. Vibrant flowers bigger than your hands adorn the tree. So big and beautiful, I love them. They're, they might be too bright. The next one's over there. Yeah, let's take him a tree. Yeah, I've got a tree for you. No flowers, some apples. Where are we going? Which way? That way. All right, I was going the wrong way, was I? Go out that way. Ah, here we go.
Yeah, nice array. They're hedged in. Shouldn't touch them. Oh, it's a triffid. Flower that can move. all we're going to be doing for a bloody hour again I do apologise, not a lot can do about it over there something big, something huge oh I bet there is love said the actress to the bishop stench it's an Adonis the thing around its mouth look like petals but the flowers are the orbs on its head I should have read what she said should I shouldn't have been so quick to turn it off it's probably not the good sort of memory I'd rather it's probably not the good sort of memory So not this one either. Finding a good flower is harder than I thought. Yeah, we found some at the beginning, but you weren't happy with them. Sorry, Albert, can you search a little more? Something up here. I bloody knew that was going to happen. Thought they were meant to be tame. Go away. Thank you. And turn around. Turn around. Come on, please. Big feathery bastard. Not going to turn around, is it? Quick before it turns around. <laughs> no screen feels. There's nothing. Shiny thing over there. What could it be? Shit loads of them. Help his flowers, they're here too. Likes and dislikes them at the same time. Like me, they're entelechis. They feel his pain and turn dark. That's only for herpes, though. For others, they're always white and bright. Ah. Interesting. The flower was dark in your home, then do you have it too, a dark emotion? I've known the pain and sorrow of loss. I've known the pain of sorrow and loss. I see. 
Hermes has known the same, the feeling that part of you is gone again and again, but no one notices. Albert, won't you lend it to me, your pain and sorrow? I want you to make the flower dark in front of Hermes. He has been in a dark place since before he created me. He needs to know that he isn't alone. Truly, he'll do it. Yeah, he's just said he would. Stop questioning him. Thank you, Albert. Can't wait to see how he reacts. All right, me to jump. They're still talking. Let's wait till they're finished. Feels like I've been on here for an hour. It's only twenty minutes. for me you've finished talking oops yes we've come to a decision my thanks for keeping me on company Emmett Selk and Pithlidaeus have already retired to their rooms there is room for you too if you would follow me His flowers? Go on. Ah. You're not the only one, Hermes. Others feel sad too. You're not alone. I see Mision has shared much with you. May we talk a moment? I do not think it wrong that we live for the star, that we strive to make it a better place. And yet, in carrying out my duties here, there are times when I am plagued by doubt. Do you recall what Hithlidaeus said when we first spoke of my nomination? Death is the privilege of those who have fulfilled their purpose, a choice they embrace of their own free will. And when they depart, it is always beautiful. Perhaps it is, but only for man. Creations that he deems useless are discarded with nary a second thought. Some scarcely born into the world, afforded a handful of breaths before life and potential are abruptly extinguished. We make an effort to spare them the pain. They sense what awaits. Oh, shut up. Yet no one cares. No one. 
So fixated are we upon the duty that we do not pause to question the method. Pain and suffering, confusion and despair, writ plain in the eyes of those poor creatures. Yet no one sees. We turn a blind eye and carry on in blissful ignorance. Not amiss. And always, always the blossoms shine pure and white. A contradiction so blatant I could scream, want to scream. How can you all accept this aberration? And I wonder, am I the aberration for thinking thus? And I am filled with dread. But now I know I'm not alone. Not the only one for whom the flowers weep. I won't ask what you thought as you kneeled beside the Alpis. Or if you only did it at Meteon's insistence. Nevertheless, I thank you. To know that you too have experienced suffering is a comfort. Glad I could be of service. Let's have no more brooding air. Oh, I could tell you all about suffering. Ah, uh, but the first one. Glad I could be of service. Hmm. To so willingly lend an ear to ease my burden. You are a strange one. Yep, I'll take that. Take it as a win, Albert. The stars in the heavens. Know you what they are. Though it is too far to tell, each glittering light could be a world not unlike Aetheris. A world filled with life. So many stars, so many lives. For us, there may be no higher purpose than to live for our world. But what of the other living beings out there? What is it that gives their lives meaning? that drives them day after day after day to pose that question to our undiscovered cousins I created beings of dynamis who can traverse the vast emptiness between the stars Meteon and her sisters I, sisters she has a great many of them and they have already departed on their journey Traveling to one star and then the next in search of life as one might expect Exploration on such a grand scale is rife with difficulties and thus far I've naught to show for it But I have faith that we will make some manner of discovery ere long And when we do I should be glad to share our findings with you in gratitude for your kindness It's getting rather late. We had best find our beds. It would not do for both of us to be sleep deprived on the morrow. Come, Meteon. Let us head back. All right. What did she notice? What she spotted? Or felt? Do, 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 do. Halfway through. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> it's dragging. Alright, speak with her, please. Is it an at? Bloody gloves. That only leaves that then. All too brief an interlude. Well, I had one. Emmett and Ethel are aware we reached a verdict regarding the fate of the Lycones. Lycones. Seven were created. All seven must be unmade. He's followed the correct protocols. I can find no fault in his judgment. They cannot be released into the wild. Petition the Bureau for the architect to have the concept preserved. 
whatever they decide they they've served their purpose right okay he's isolate the creatures preparing to carry out the measures I'll join him forthwith it's my duty if you are resolved then we have but to cook to you let us be off then get some get some gloves right Ethel oh no that's Hippotho speak with Doros where's Doros then like that way somewhere get on here 12 I'm not gonna get 12 am I let's have a look ether currents where are we anyway oh, oh bloody hell one two three four ten ten fifteen well, if they pop up they pop up if they don't they don't if I was going to carry on playing it when I reach the end you know doing all the little side quests and doing dungeons again to get points or what have you yeah I'd get them I don't see the point are you hurt what happened here they caught me off guard. I had them bound with shackles. They became frenzies. Broke free. I was able to stop four. The other three escaped. I see them two have taken to the air. The last is up ahead lurking in the fields. You and Albert handle that one. The pair in the sky leave to me. This is how it must end, then so be it. Can I use my choco? In here. Let me say, what the hell's that? I will render assistance to Emmett. Unneed, unneeded as it is. You stay here with Doros. But her peas. The Lycons must be reverted. I would spare you their pain and mine. This is my burden, but if you're intent on helping, then please follow my lead. Where is he? Ah. He went there a second ago when I wrote, came up, I appreciate your help and lament that it is necessary within striking distance at present, but it feels threatened. It may well flee beyond our reach. You will approach slowly in full blue and draw his attention. Fierce, once it spots you, it will release orbs of flame. Fear not. Let's begin. Come 
Get out there. Right, what's going to happen? Is it going to come down? Now. Forgive me. Please forgive me. May you and your kin find peace. Wherever your souls may drift in oh, the Oh, shut up. May you find tranquil seas. Be not forgotten, in concept endure, to reclaim form and one day live again. Serve not the star, or any purpose save your own. Live again, if that be your desire. I'm back to the ether. Hate. If that be your want, we are worthy. But leave your suffering behind. Lay down your burdens, be born anew. Fly high, fly free. Join the convocation, Hermes. You do not belong here. Leave to replace another. To be replaced. It changes nothing. Tell me, do you think it right that we sacrifice all these lives for the sake of the star? And when the star has reached perfection, what then? If all who are satisfied choose to die, shall we all die in satisfaction? We don't bring about the old. Oh, I'm just throwing it out there. I do not know. Were I to take up the seat Brings of about Vandana, the first calamity. it would be tantamount to approving my predecessor's death. I do not know if it is right. And to be torn by such thoughts. I do not know if I am fit to represent mankind. Hermes! Please don't be angry. It hurts so.
Forgive me. If you would still consider me in spite of everything, I beg some time to gather my thoughts. Meanwhile, Hitlerdeus, I fear I must trouble you to attend to the others. Tis no trouble at all. Take as long as you require. And you, my friend, I pray you find that which you seek. Well, nobody told him anything yet. Well, is that Dynamis, I suppose? I expect we have some few matters to discuss. Shall we return to the Twelve Wonders for a time? Aye. Oh, I speak with Emmett. The other Lycons have been taken care of. Incident is resolved. Rationally speaking, I understand Hermes' argument. No matter how well I deserve the rest, there is a pang of sadness. Yet never has a departure caused me such grief as Hermes appears to feel. Right, let's have a look at the gloves. Gonna have to find a material guy. Materia guy, should I say? And gear use. Plus ten. What you got? Where to now? If there's anywhere you would like to visit before we leave, we'll gladly sh to show the way. Herpes has not yet outright refused his position, merely postponed the decision. I may well resume my assessment. If we cannot accompany him, then I will content myself with questioning his colleagues. Allow me to remain your humble guide. What of you, Albert? Will you continue with us? Wonderful. Follow me. We're led back to Anagnorisis. So we're going to... Might as well fast travel, aren't we? Fifteen minutes left. Oh, this way somewhere. Where are we going? Piss off you big chicken. Not interested. Told you, not interested. There they are. Alright. What you got, Ethel? What are we doing now? We follow the path northwards to not on us. We'll find one of the news which facilitate travel between the islands, shall we? Back 
on the old dragon. Guess we're going up that ladder. Them ladder steps. Duh. Can't help it, I'm nephew. get banned again. Can't do things like that, can you? I can't help it. Old school. Used to laugh about things like that. Or not anymore. Somebody might be offended. Right, I thought this news will take us to Calimelius Ephirius, the Western Island. That's it, along the large above us. I present to you Calamelios Zephyros. I'll call it Kalamazoo. Here you will find a number of testing facilities, as well as the observation hub of Poiton Oikos. Right then. Let's begin by... Hmm. Well, well. An Arrayus. How delightful. And what, pray tell, is that? Ah, that's a new species of shark. We approved the concept but a few days ago. Sharks Why? are among the most popular sea creatures. Rare is the day when someone does not submit a new concept. At first, they were largely orthodox, consideration given to such things as size and environmental impact, and then a whimsical someone thought to bestow it with flight, another superior intelligence, and then the floodgates burst, concepts with multiple heads or arms or legs or arms and legs, and so on and so forth. It was getting absurd. A part of me wanted to tell them to go away and find something else to create, but in the end I couldn't deny their passion. And <sighs> here we are. Oh, way up. What's this? That was too close. Are you unharmed? Familiar woman. I don't know her. Well now, if it isn't a pair of familiar oh, faces. Oh, to them. Except to me. That we should meet you here. As I mentioned earlier, the better part of the Convocation holds that when we retire is when we return to the star. Well, she is not among said majority. Even after stepping down, she carries on with her work. Where did Bernard I meet her is her name, then? and she is the previous Azem. Ah. It has been a while, Hithlidaeus. You look well. Less so, Emmet Selk. I dare say the lines upon your brow have both deepened and doubled in number. A shame for one so young. You must make an effort to frown less often. Easier said than done, thanks to your unruly successor. How is he, if I may ask? Incorrigible as ever. Rushed headlong into a volcano on the brink of eruption just the other day. I should be glad to share the tale in its entirety later, if you're so inclined. Oh, you know I am. Now then, you are? I'm all but...
I say, have you perchance come from the future? Yeah. I do not believe we have ever met, yet I sense my magic upon you. Therefore, if I wove the enchantment, I could only have done so at a later point in time. Hmm. What manner of magic is this, if I may ask? A traveler's ward, of course. It prevents the corruption of one's ether. Sounds rather like the blessing of light. Yeah, sounds rather like the blessing of light. She's not hidely, is she? I see you are not ignorant to its presence. No, I'm not sure. And while there are many protective spells, the one you bear is unmistakably mine. Hold on. From the future? That's absurd. What is it? Are you unable to speak of the matter? The reality to which you must return exists as a result of the final days. You cannot reshape the past to undo the tragedies of the present. So, your actions here will not change your history, but they may yet affect the course of ours. How very exciting! I'm quite fond of delving into the unknown, and there's naught more unknown than the future. Oh, don't dabble. We've all seen back to the future. Until a moment finally arrives, we cannot know for certain what will come to pass. Regardless of our supposed foreknowledge, so you needn't worry for us. Yeah, but although it's an unknown for you, Albert knows it because it's his past. Oh, it gets confusing, timey wimey shit, doesn't it? More importantly, huh? that you should go to such great lengths as to travel unto the past bespeaks the gravity of your quest. Will you not reveal it to us? Mayhap we can be of aid to your cause. <sighs> oh, he's off again, miserable bugger. If this is true, then you've been keeping quite the secret to yourself. As a representative of the Convocation, I will hear it all. Your identity, purpose, everything. Well, I killed you. Why don't we move to a place more conducive to calm conversation? I've been working here for some days now at an old friend's behest. If it is agreeable, we may make use of my accommodation at Poiton Oikos. We were meant to meet. I am certain of it. Else I wouldn't have marked you so clearly, and sent you unto myself in the past. It's precisely the sort of mischief I would get up to. I'm quite inspired, if I do say so myself. Ooh, get, get, getting a bit of a smile. <sighs> Albert, put it away. Right, what time we got? Let's speak with the Nat first, then see what's going to happen. My apologies, but before I move along, a colleague has tasked me with a matter. I'd rather not leave unresolved. The crystal that Arrayus nicked it. Yeah, we saw it. I would, of course, lead us only to the Arrayus. There is no guarantee it hasn't dropped or stashed it. 
Uh, can we scour the floor? Can we join the search? Many thanks. Small bridge leading to Oikin Boikin. Let us meet up there once we've exhausted our efforts. We're this way somewhere then. What was the map? Pull the map over. There we go. Search for the concept crystal. Keep out of the way of him. Right, anything up here? down there then oh I see it's down there found it Dragon. Which way are we going? somewhere Minotaur there's the bridge there's Vera our last search returns Yep, crystal well done. I can focus on your tail now. I've often been asked to do so. Oh, you too. Some of us seem destined to always be searching. Long ago when I held the seat of Azem, I was forever trekking back and forth. I'm still eager to come running should an old acquaintance or new ask. This is what brings me to Alpis. In fact, many times has my presence been requested. Waffle, waffle, waffle. Right. That is where we are going to finish. Literally bang on the hour. So, as always, thanks for your views. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it. Going place of 35. 13, I think, on YouTube, and I've still got me regular on Rumble. Keep up that great work, pal. Anyway, you won't make it worthwhile. I'll crack on tomorrow. Till then, I'll see the peeps. <laughs>